Hello guys and welcome to Minecraft. I'm going to show you guys today how to build a TNT cannon. I've shown off a few cannons before, but I get this question a lot. Uh, and I figured I would show you guys how to build a TNT cannon. I'm going to try to make this simple and quick and uh, hopefully not waste too much of your time. So uh, you see, I usually start a cannon off with the barrel. It's the front part of the cannon and I think that it's a good way to start. Uh, a, can a barrel of four blocks usually does the job, but sometimes I go for five. I'll go for five right now just to be sure. Uh, you don't really have to put on a bottom to your cannon. You're going to want to put it on a top, but I'm not going to put my top on right yet. Uh, but I'll build this up too tall uh, for now, and I'll end up building it up taller later, but that's just the start. I put a block there and a block there. I'm going to put four dispensers here and four dispensers here. Okay, and then around here. It doesn't really matter how far you go back with this. You can't go back too far. Like You can't go all the way back to here. Uh, f but I usually go back about one block. And then right here, you want your water to flow, and then right at the block before, right before the barrel, or, uh, yeah, the barrel, you want to put down this half slab. You'll see why this all makes sense later when the cannon's more complete. Now you want to run redstone over the top of these, just because that will trigger them when the button's pushed. On one side, it doesn't matter which, I'm going to put it on the left side, I'm going to put a slab. The other side, I'm just going to leave normal. Uh, I'm actually going to put a block, rather, better yet, a block. Uh, now, I'm going to put a dispenser over here, and I'm actually going to put some sand over here. Now, the sand, you're going to want to stack up as high as you can. Sometimes you can only stack it up one or two blocks. Sometimes you could stack it up much more than that. I'm going to stack it up about this high, because I'm not actually raiding a base. I'm just showing you guys how to build a cannon. Uh, now, I'm going to extend this back. Three blocks should do. You don't have to go back too far. Uh, just a little bit back. And down here, over here. Alright, uh, now you never want to put more than seven dispensers. Seven should be the max. Uh, I'm going to put down seven right now just to show you guys how much the cannon can do. Uh, oh, one, two, three, four, five, seven. Uh, actually, I'm going to extend it one more just to make sure I fit in seven. You don't really ever need seven, and uh, I don't like to use seven because then you run the risk of the cannon kind of blowing itself up. But uh, seven is the most you should ever need. So one, two, three, four, five, five, six, seven. There we go. And when you have seven, you should have them all on max delay, except for the last one. And that's as much as you want to delay them without the cannon blowing itself up. I'm not going to do that. But max with this, this one should have no delay. Uh, I'm not going to do that because I don't need that many. You don't really ever need that many. Then at the end of your long chain of repeaters you're gonna put a comparator and then you want to run redstone all around the comparator so that it kind of loops back into itself run redstone up and on top of the dispenser right next to the dispenser right there and there you go uh now right now if i were to fire i would fire one tnt turning this on would fire seven and i'll get into that in a second now over here we're going to do the same this one has to extend pretty far i'm going to extend it uh, far enough so you could put on 10, whoops, messing up, misplacing blocks like crazy. Uh, I'm going to put enough so I can put 10 repeaters, that's a big deal. So you want to put 10 repeaters, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I put a few too many, I'll just fill in the empty spots with redstone. Uh, you want these all to be on max delay, full delay, that's 4 clicks or 1, 2, 3 clicks not counting the one they used to place it down. Put redstone on the corners. I always forget redstone on the corners. The last one, though, you only want to have one tick. So nine of them are on max delay, and then this one has one tick. Okay. And now to finish up the barrel, I usually wait till after to finish up the barrel. I'm going to stack this one up three high, right here, and right here. I'm using iron blocks for this tutorial. You could use whatever block you want to build your actual cannon. Now, now that I got it all done, I'm going to grab myself a stone button. Or it's not called a stone button, it's just called a button. There we go. And TNT. Let's just grab a ton of TNT. Uh, now, ooh, you're going to want to fill every one of these dispensers with TNT. I won't make you sit through all that, but I'm going to fill them all up with TNT. You don't need to put 64 in each. I like to put in a lot, but uh, you don't need to put in 64 in each. I will just put in a little bit in each, or I will put 64 in because I'm in creative. Uh, we're almost done. There we go. Okay, now, 
with a stone button. Seeing as this is not pushed, it should shoot one TNT. There goes TNT. There goes sand. Off it goes. Over here, there we go, one TNT. Now this is where using a stone button and using a wooden button defer. So, uh, if we hit this, we're going to see how much TNT it releases. It should release seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, that might not have been seven. Now, as you can see, that obviously does a lot more damage, but it's less accurate. It kind of spreads all over the place. Uh, you will launch more TNT per shot, but uh, it might not be as accurate. The barrel really helps with accuracy. The barrel limits how high it goes. Uh, and there you can see some more. If I were to use a wooden button, get myself a button here. There we go. Yeah. You can see before I think it was releasing five or... Oh, that was seven, I'm pretty sure. Um, and there you go. You see how much damage we're doing. Uh, if you don't know, basically when you're raiding a base, you can't break blocks because the base is most likely claimed. If the base has a water wall, then you can launch sand and then launch sand and TNT at the same time to lodge the sand in the TNT. When the sand and the TNT occupy the same block for a second, the TNT explodes and blows up the wall around it. Uh, now, you can only get into bases with Obsidian Breaker, bases made out of Obsidian with Insidi the Obsidian Breaker plugin installed. Now, one way to customize this, like I said, was to turn that on and off uh, to time it correctly. See, this one's only going to do one. Uh, another way to customize is to time it correctly. You shouldn't really ever have to change the timing of the sand, but you might have to change the timing of the TNT. So, for instance, maybe I think it's... Exp I, want to, I want to explode in midair, okay? Now, it should explode. See, it exploded right before it hit the ground. It actually sent the sand to the side there. Now, if I want to wait for it to land before it uh, explodes, I can put a bunch of delay on. I won't put on that much. I'll put on a good amount. Last time it exploded before it even hit the ground. And now you'll see that it will land, wait a second, then explode. Now, it landed in water, so it didn't do any damage. But... Uh, it took a lot longer to explode. That's one way that you'll need to customize the cannon. You can't really, uh, you can't really cannon by yourself. You need someone telling you what to do. Like, for instance, you want someone up at the wall that you're cannoning. Like, oh, TNT's landing too soon. TNT la TNT's landing too late. And so on. Uh, next, the, the second thing that you might want to customize is kind of the length of the barrel. You know, sometimes you're going to need a longer barrel. Sometimes you're going to need a so shorter barrel. Oop. Uh, and one last thing is the propulsion. The amount of propulsion you use uh, will vary based on how far you are from the base, where you're trying to land the TNT, etc. Like, for instance, this one will not go nearly as far. See? This one barely, barely made it to here, whereas the other one made it all the way over to here. Now, with all those variables, you can pretty much make what was a really inaccurate shot more accurate. Uh, also, keep in mind that when doing raids, you want to raid north-south. So I'm facing south here. You can see my F3 north. Uh, point your cannons north-south. There's a bug in Minecraft, or maybe it's a functional thing. I don't know where. Uh, if you launch sand and TNT, they sometimes separate from each other in midair when you're launching east-west. So be sure to raid north-south. Uh, I hope this tutorial helped you. If you have any questions, ask below. Um, I'm always working on my cannons. My Twitter bio is actually reinventing the TNT cannon nightly. Uh, I'm always changing my cannons, always looking for a better cannon. If you have one, tell me. I know about the Liam, Liam Archer's cannon, uh, but I also happen to know that that cannon is crazy with how much it takes and whatnot. So thank you guys for watching. Quick little cannon video today. I know a lot of people ask. Uh, so with that, I will see you.